Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Ranjur Swami, and today I'm going to present presentation on the inflorescence, the types of inflorescence I have, we have to study. So, before starting this topic, I just wanted to explain what is inflorescence. So, what are the content of the table which we are going to study is so we are going to study introduction, then basic terminology, which will help you in understanding the inflorescence, then types of inflorescence, and spatial inflorescence, and then we study the difference in inflorescence between racemos and cyma. And this is the kind of inflorescence you are seeing in this picture. You will get to know about what kind of inflorescence this plant is, plant is sowing. You will get to know after reading this whole content. So let's get started so firstly we are going to discuss what is inflorescence in the introduction we are going to discuss what is inflorescence so inflorescence is something the introduction of flowers on plant the arrangement of flowers on plant this is a simple line which will express every meaning of inflorescence if you see this is a twig in which we it contains a variety of flowers like this flower this flower this flower which is containing so many flowers so the arrangement of these flowers is called inflorescence let's discuss in detail the inflorescence is the arrangement of a cluster of flowers on a floral axis is known as inflorescence so this is a floral axis you can see this is a floral axis in which these flowers are arranged themselves. They have arranged themselves. You see this flower, this flower, this flower. They have arranged themselves. Themselves. So this is a floral axis in which the flowers are arranged themselves. That's called inflorescence. I hope you understand. What is the flower? Flower is an attractive part of plant owing to its beauty. Flower a beautiful plant structure a plant ka jo beautiful hai aur ek smell bhi achhi smell de raha hai. That is smart gift. Now the basic terminology which will help you in understanding the inflorescence is like peduncle, then we have pedicel, what is pedicelate, sessile, solitary, solitary axial, receptacle. There is some terminology which you need to study so that you can understand our broader view of inflorescence. Firstly, we have peduncle. Peduncle, the main axis, the main axis bearing uh, the flower. That is the stalk of individual flower. If you see this diagram very clearly, you will get to know this. Let me zoom it out. So this is uh, zoom the structure. If you see the structure, this is this is peduncle. What it is it is a peduncle which contains different different flowers around it. Now the individual let me make it from a different color. This individual this individual is called pedestal. This is pedestal and this is peduncle. The red part is showing peduncle and this is the yellow part is saying producer. I hope you understand. I hope you get this point. Now the flower which has pedestal, like this flower has pedestal. This flower has pedestal. This is pedestal. Then it, this flower is going to be called pedicillate. flower if the flower is if the flower is is from the it is directed test to the this is floral axis directly and this is this is flower and it does not has any uh pedunc pedicel then it is called sessile flower if you understand So you understand what is peduncle, 
What is pedicel and what is pedicellate flower? Which has pedicel and so sal flower devoid of an pedicel. Salt will terminal flower occurring a single at apex of the plant. If you make I'm making this plant and at the its apex there is a flower. Is this there is a flower? Then it is called solitary terminal flower. And if I just make this one, there is its branch and there is one flower like me. So here is a flower present that is called solitary axial flower. And when when this uh, this peduncle turns fleshy, then it is called to be a receptacle. It will be known as receptacle. I hope you understand what I'm going to convey with you. So this is a basic terminology which will help you in understanding the whole concept of inflorescence. Then this is a flower of rose which is going to be help you a lot. I have to make this this whole excess that is called this whole excess is as parody pedunker and when the flower which is going to which is Test to this floor axis with this structure that is called pedicel and the flower which has pedicel that is called pedicelate if the flower is do not has the structure then it is called sessile if the flower if the flower is just is there there is no pedicel with this then it is called to be a sessile and the terminal flowers when the terminal bear this kind of flower that is called terminal when the uh, axial row contain as terminal flower that is called axial terminally now we have the types of inflorescence and i don't know why this chart is not able to see the content here but it's okay so these are the two types of inflorescence one is cymos and second one is racemos. The basic difference I'm going to teach here. This this is this is a floral axis, and please understand this. Okay, this is a floral axis. Here, it is some lateral branches literal branches if this part if this terminal containing flower man it will be thymus and if and here I am making the structure so again some sulfury kind of things were there. The flowers are present. Here is present. Here is present. Here is present. Here, here is present. But the difference is here. It do not. It do not contain the flower in that area at the top. Here it contains the flower at the top. But here it doesn't mean that is the main difference. Now main axis bear the flower at the tip that is called cymos. If the main axis doesn't bear the flower at the tip at its apex, then it is known as the resting mouse. I hope you understand. And now the further the resting mouse classification was given, further divided, and the same is also further divided, which we will study in the later slides. Now let's talk about resting mouse and fluorescence which have already really Get the structure very carefully. You will see this is the this is axis. You can see this is an axis. Here the terminal 
doesn't contain any flower. It means what kind of flower since it has? It has racemos. Because here it do not contain here it do not contain any you check this area here it does not contain any flower. It's called racemos and flower stems. Strand. Okay. The arrangement of which the youngest flowers is present near the apex and older part of so the base of the cyclopeta. So the resume and flowers in the tip doesn't bear any flower like this. Here any flower and the arrangement of this flower are like the tip at tip they have a small flower which is young and at the base they have uh, older flowers. There is large in size. They are small in size. So here it contains the young flowers at the tip and the old flowers at this base. So it is called Ikarabeta Hashmi. Apex pe young hunger. The growing point doesn't turn into flowers. It doesn't turn into flowers. Keep on forming a just later. So flowers are forming but it doesn't turn. Now we are going to discuss the types of flowers which is important. Our resume in flowers when peduncle bears many petals like flowers, the flower has its petals. This is peduncle. This is petals. Peduncle bear many petals like flowers. Peduncle has many petals like flowers. Bear karta hai. Ah, and in a crepeta manner, many old one is there and new one is there. Then it is called resin in flower skins. <laughs> Mustard. Example of this is mustard. The second type of racemos is spike. When this is a peduncle and the flowers are present, see the flowers are present, but they do not have this pedicel structure. So that is called spike, and this is seen in Hyacinthus. Now we have panicle. Panicle is similar. If you see here, the term bear does not contain any flowers. The similar. But this is raising there are the flowers, is flower, but the flower which is again gets branch. The difference here is not again branching is present. But it is further branch like this, there's further branch. It is called panica and seen cash of its chola. And it is spike with insects. It is also spike. Spike means the peduncle bears the sessile flowers which do not have pedestal. But here the difference is the flowers is you know so the flowers does not contain both organ both two so and female both are absent only male yoga only female yoga this is something understand it was seen in which kind of flowers? It was seen. It was. It was seen in Morris Elba. Then we have the other seen in Spadex, Spadex and Corium. Yes. Spadex, Spadex and Corium. You see Spadex. Spadex is classic. It is enclosed by one or more spikes called spikes. It was seen in Mason Banana. Spadex something. The peduncle was there. This is the peduncle. It turned out to be fleshy. If you see this, it's, it, it turned out to be, it's turned out to be fleshy. This peduncle, so it's turned into a fleshy. It gets swollen. It's get swollen, and bigs in this space form, which are green color, that call spots. And the side flower was seen here. The six was enclosed one or more large bugs called spikes. Six was enclosed large bugs that calls. It was seen in maize and banana. Stem. No. Now we have corium. Oh. Corium fluorescence is where a semi in which all the flowers are 
the same level due to more elongation of pedicel or loss you know the flower structure is called this is flower and that the structure is called pedicel when the pedicel if you see they are from different different points there is this they are from different different they are from different different point and when they reach the same level they reach the same level then it's called corymb i was seeing a bird sandra lavis lavis sandra that is called corymb i know collectively reach but from different different points now we have umbel now we have umbel umbel is also very similar but here the uh, if you see the structure very clearly you will get to know this is the upper of difference is there in umbel they reach at same level if you see they reach at same level but their point of origin is same in corium the point of origin is different but in umbel the point of origin is from this This also come, this also come, and this and this, both are coming from the same. That is amble. But in Korean, you see the flowers are reaching at the same point. This, this is a excess, but they are rising from different point. This like this like this from different different points. And amble and flowers are same. A B C A B C same. and it was korean shop kind of flowers to we'll see i have understand yes now we have kepi tulum in florissance which is a kepi tulum kepi tulum in florissance we have to study and when numerous flowers sessile flowers create to form a a dense structure if you see This is an example is sunflower. The example is sunflower. If you see here, this sun, this sun, sunflower, which is different different petal. These are individual flowers which are in the same structure. One is structural that is called capitulum. It is seen in sunflower. Um, it's it's family. its family is its family is asteraceae see how can this let's move to the, we have study the whole cymosing now we are going to study the cymos and florissance Cymolus and Florissance has very few types. If you see, then the one which we have studies. So Cymolus and Florissance are related with the main axis, whereas the terminal flower that is called Cymolus. The terminal becomes flower. The main axis has limited determined growth. So because the term turns, it's done. This turn out to be flower. Flower. This is the flower. Then the growth cannot be indeterminate. It turns to be a determined growth. Flowers are in basic petal. Basic petal is one. If I make basic petal is one, it means the young flowers is on is at base. It's be young flowers only. Be. Young flowers is at base, and the old flower is at the is at the that is called basic petal. Petal arrangement. So let's move to the types of the side. So please bear with me. The slide is going to be played, and yes, um, we have to study the types of cymos and florissance. So, same as in flowers, when pedunculus bears terminal flower and a single lateral branches, 
Pegaremoslo, if you see. Single thumbnail flower is there, yes it is there. And single ek hi side ko branch, yes it is there. And it is called monocash. Monocash is turned out to be helicoid. When the branch, the one lateral branch, successfully three lateral branches appear from this like this. Only one side of the branches are appearing, that is called helicoid. And when the branches also appear, it was also a single lateral branch. But the other lateral branch is a, a single lateral branch. But from the single branch, the uh, branches appear on both sides like this, like this. Also, also that is called a scorpion. Scorpion in both sides. Let me show you this structure in a detail version. Dicashew, this is terminal flower, this is terminal flower, and here the both are little branches are up here. Stem, sterminal flower, and flower, and up here four little little branches which also flowers. Polycation multiparous sign when Padanka appears a single terminal flower and just blow it out. More than two little ones, two little ones, the one and two. सीन <laughs> Left and right, here only left. It is moving on left, and right, and right, and right, and right, and right, left right, and 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 right, First on cashew, polycashew, fluorescence. Now he has some such sort of special type of fluorescence there. This type of black soil molecule used fuse and cup shaped structure of margin female structure matures only in the partition. Female structures, flowers, it mature only with the male. Late mat or mature with the small male flowers, surround with the female flowers because the female they are. Also has pedicel center for lows maturely than the peripheral flowers. It was in peripheral. You feel busy if you see the structure. Let me explain it. This is brick sketch fused, brick sketch fused, and after fusing, they have the male flower which is maturely. It was coming out, and the male female flower is coming out, and because it matures early, and the male flower is surrounding them. It mature at light or when the scent of flowers mature early then the peripheral flowers if you see this is flowers and like this is flower and this is flower so it was like the peripheral flowers they mature late as compared to the this one flowers since I think it was seen in your favorite the hypanthodium this is some type of inflorescence so they have placed a receptor here. Receptor is something when the pedicle turns out to be a fleshy one. That's called receptor forms a hollow cavity. That is called osteo. Uh, uh, it turns out to be osteo and contains a variety of flower inside it. With fleshy one, it was like it forms a cavity and contains a variety of flowers. Um, for tall and for tall flowers are both present in inside it. फ्लावर सेंटर डेट इस कॉल्ड तुलसी क्लशोफ सोसाइल और 
this in if you see if you see this structure this is what is laid if you see this structure this is sodium uh, sodium sodium that is salty this uh, this structure has some cyanide influence like a short sign but later it's turned out to be a monocash so i hope you understand what i want to do like this uh, video please let me know in the comments i hope you like this tutorial if you like please um, do like and this thank you the flight is completed and i i hope you like this tutorial if you want this tutorial further uh, let me know in the comment section please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel